folks, Jonathan here. Uh, I had to go out back and pull another rear end out of a Ford truck. This is an, I had two 88 Fords, and uh, here's our other one. I think uh, everybody probably remembers the fact. Let me get this dry shaft off of it. This one had a noise in it. You can hear the clicking in it. So uh, that's a 308 gear. This is a 355 gear. And uh, just got to get it cleaned up and ready. And then uh, we're going to do the brakes on it. But it's nice and quiet and really nice and smooth. It's not a posi. I uh, wish it was. Um, you know, we just got to use what we've got. But uh, we don't want to weld the spider gears or anything because I don't know who's going to end up winning this thing, you know, this Jeep. So uh, I would rather uh, just, you know, let them have the... the uh, choice of what they want to do after they get it but uh it's been pretty rough trying to get everything caught up uh i had 20 tons of uh number 57 gravel brought in i don't like crush and run because we've got so much sand here that you know you, when you get crush and run you get a lot of sand with it and i definitely don't need any more so i've been working on that spreading that and getting getting stuff ready around here uh we pulled old seed out of a this is the third row seat out of a van we're going to, uh, yeah, it would raise up. It's a really nice seat, but we're going to put it in there. It's about an inch and a half narrower than the original seat, so it should work out fine. And uh, everything else is coming along. I never showed everybody. I'm going to show you the cross member here. There are other wheels and our engine. There's the cross member after I finished it up. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to show anybody, you know, everybody that, but. But it's done and ready to go in, and uh, I was going to put some paint on it and haven't done it. But uh, it's coming along. We're, uh, we're, what, about a week away. As a matter of fact, a week from today, uh, I've got a drive shaft that actually fits my uh, 350 turbo, and it fits the forward rear end on this end. But the way that it steps, uh, you know, I don't know if I can, if I can make it short enough with that step so what I've done is I've actually measured the original drive shaft and it's a straight drive shaft there's no you know don't step up or step down so I think it'll work so between uh, it and what I've got here I should have be able to build a drive shaft the day of the build and uh, that should work out fine just got a few little things we've got to do I've still got to get the brake pedals out of a old 64 Chevrolet truck I was going to use the Impala but I decided to use the truck uh, it seems the Impala pedals are shorter, of course, from where they mount down because it's a car and we're going to put truck pedals in it. So uh, I'm going to get at this rear end and try to get it finished up. Okay, folks, got new wheel cylinders on it. Uh, the shoes are just like new. We're not going to replace them. They're not uh, old or cruddy or nothing. So we're going to run them and uh, I think we're ready to go. Uh, I changed the, hose, the lines out, the brake lines off the other rear end because these ones was a little bent, uh, had a kink in it. And uh, I'm waiting on my hose. It'll be here in the morning. New brake hose. I don't want to use the old one. Don't want to take a chance on it. But uh, so everything's good there. I just have to slide the drums back on and adjust them. And, and that's it for the rear. So we're good to go there and uh, grind it off a little bit. I mean, that's not a big deal. But uh, there's the seat I wanted to show you. I, figured out how to get it up get to pull the lever but uh yeah that'll that'll be fine it's not perfect but it's uh it'll be a nice seat for the truck and then uh we got the brake pedals and stuff out uh this is a clutch and brake and we're gonna actually we'll cut the clutch pedal off uh and we'll just run the brake this is off of a 64 chevrolet and uh, i'll probably go down and cut just a section of the firewall out to give us a pattern and to make it go a little quicker you know it's just a, that old parts truck that i've kept around here and uh so i think that'll work out fine we've got our brake rod and everything and you know i, I the best i can tell measuring it everything's going to work out good we're going to have to shorten the front of it up a little bit but it's got the piece that goes under it that holds the steering column we're going to re-angle the column a little bit inside the truck uh and i'll show you what i'm talking about there Okay, I may have already shown you this, but steering gearbox is back here. Ours is going to sit, you know, right in here. This is just sitting on there. It's not mounted or anything. 
and get it where it ain't going to fall off. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to re-angle the steering gear box. Instead of coming out down low, it's actually going to come out up here. And that way we can work with some U-joints because at the angle it's at, we can't. But the only way in the truck to be able to, to work with that, and uh, we, like I said, we don't want to mess with anything yet. We're actually going to do away with the panel with the radio. We'll probably move that panel over to the other side because our glove compartment lid is missing anyway. And uh, I think these are about the same. The panels are close to the same. But uh, we'll take it off. And the column will actually come out up here where the stereo is at. And that's going to get it up higher so when we lean it back some, you know, at a different angle, we still have some leg room and be able to get in it. And uh, so that's the plan with that. I think we can do all that in one day, no problem. And uh, Still debating on a column. We may use this one and just... Uh, make a bushing and stuff and set it up to where we can use an original style and but uh, We'll see how that goes Anyway, we're moving along. I don't have hardly anything left to do here Before it's ready. I've got it up here in on jack stands already and uh, I've got the rear end plates out of the Walk around here where you can see them Got the rear end plates out of the Ford uh, these will actually go on the bottom. They're going to replace the ones that are there and it won't be bad or too bad to come off of these with the shock mounts. Uh, the way that these shock mounts are made, you can see there's no rubbers in them so we're going to leave the shocks off so whoever gets it can put shocks on it but you know the bushings are gone but they just had them slid on with a uh, with a cotter pin. You know there's no bolts holding these shocks on but uh, got two inch blocks. We've got longer U-bolts. So the longer U-bolts will put two inch blocks in, that'll bring it down two inches. And uh, plus this, you know, the shorter tires we're putting on it'll make it go better. And for the radiator, I went ahead and ordered a new one. We've got a, uh, it's a two core, which is two one inch cores, aluminum. Uh, good size to fit in there. It's already set up for Chevrolet. So we should be able to, uh, Adapt it in there and make it work with no problem. And uh, got a few other parts in. And I think most everybody's seen the tags. I got all the exhaust parts landing here. I got one transmission mount. I got two engine mounts. Uh, got a transmission cooler. A new one. We've got all of our, our front brake hoses and our, our wheel cylinders and our new brake shoes. I have not put on yet and I may not. We may have to do that today to build. I'm sort of running out of time, so uh, and of course we've got, like I said before, we've got our windshields in and got our uh, rubber. So I think we've we're close to getting it covered. I just need some little stuff, and uh, I'll show you more. Okay, folks, I believe that's about it. I've got about all the parts. I've showed everybody about everything we got. Uh, you know, there's a few other little things I'm going to grab and pick up, but uh, we're pretty much pretty much ready. And uh, just type a few loose ends, and uh, this will be the last video, of course, before the build. And uh, if it gets uh, rained out on October 2nd, it's the following, I think October 9th. We're going to do it on the following Sunday, but we're going to start early, about 7 in the morning on this one. So uh, we'll see how it goes, and maybe uh, by that following Monday, the, the 3rd, I'll have uh, some video on of the, of the build. And... Uh, we're gonna try I'm gonna try to do a little better job this time I'm not a you know I'm, not, I'm definitely not a cameraman and these cameras I don't know if you've noticed or not but they're pretty close up you don't get much of a wide angle on these and uh, I'm getting ready to invest in a new camera and my only problem is just finding out what's best to get and that's uh that's the uh, toughest part and you know this is just a Walmart camera that I bought a couple hundred dollars that I've been using since right after I started doing YouTube so uh, you know need to really need to upgrade this thing actually I I, I had a fire and uh, I actually had a, a gas tank leak it was just a small little about a gallon tank and had a engine backfire caught it on fire and the camera was actually sitting there and it actually melted the front of this camera of course you can't see it because you're on camera but it actually melted part of the front of it and uh, the case is broke in one spot but I'm really rough on them so but uh anyway look forward to the build uh, look forward to everybody being here again and giving it away and we're gonna hopefully raise 
We're hoping to uh, raise a little more this time for Baca, uh, Bikers Against Child Abuse. We're going to see how that goes, and uh, and you know, hopefully we'll have a good turnout. I think we're going to have quite a few more cars here than we had before, and so we'll run through them when we get a chance during the day and show everybody the cars that are here, and uh, you know, we'll make a day of it anyway. All right, appreciate everybody watching, and I'll have some other videos up before the build on other stuff but uh you'll see the next thing you'll see on this old willies will be the build all right bye